welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, we're gonna be doing this look right here. This look is super fun and festive. I would wear this out to Vegas or if it was my birthday night or something where I just wanted to stand out a little bit more, maybe like a bachelorette night or you know, I just feel like it's super girly and sparkly and just fun. So if you guys are interested in this makeup look, then go ahead and keep on watching. I've already applied my foundation. I use the Armani Luminous Silk and I have done my eyebrows and applied my soft ochre as my base. I'm just gonna set my base using the shadow It's Cream by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just want you guys to know that I'm 100% winging my makeup today. I don't know if I told you guys that I recently moved and my life has been in shambles. So I'm trying to get my, you know, my stuff together. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my Morphe blending brush. This is my favorite blending brush. It's the M441. And I'm just gonna go into this NARS shadow. This is in the shade Persia. And I'm gonna pop that into the crease. I'm not gonna be shy with my eyeshadow today. I'm going all out, I think. I'm gonna take my Milani Liquid Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade Brown, and I'm gonna apply this to my lid as a base. This is a super creamy eyeliner, so it's perfect for this kind of stuff because it's easy to blend out. Certain eyeliners are not as blendable, so if you put them on your lid, it's like too rough. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Makeup Geek brush, it's the Smoky Eye Brush, and I'm gonna try to blend this out. So now I've packed on this base color and it looks kind of messy at the moment, but we're gonna blend it out with an eyeshadow and pack this on over it. I'm using my NARS Galapagos eyeshadow, which I have been loving lately. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this all over. I haven't done my concealer yet, so if I have fallout, it's not a big deal. I'm actually going to pick up that Galapagos eyeshadow on this Zoeva 231 brush, and I'm just gonna start buffing that into the crease. And really connecting the orange to the brown. These NARS eyeshadows are so nice and really blendable. Like, I feel like I'm barely having to do anything and the pigment is just really nice. Now I'm taking a clean blending brush. This is just my MAC 217 and I'm gonna do windshield wipers through these two colors and kind of really blend them together. And you wanna make sure to use a clean brush when you do this because you don't wanna get any of the dark eyeshadow all over the orange. You kind of just want to nicely marry the two colors together. Now that I have everything nice and blended out, I think I'm gonna try to use this OCC li liquid, this OCC glitter. This is in the shade beige and it's copper, so I don't really understand that, but it's really pretty. I don't know, let's see how it looks because it does look a little thick. I just lightly dampened this brush. It's a synthetic makeup geek. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my falsies and you guys guessed it, they're the House of Lashes Iconics. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. House of Lashes Iconics always hit the spot. Okay, so now that I finish the top of the eyes with all the glitter, I'm gonna try to kind of dust off any glitter that fell. I doubt I'm gonna get all of it because that stuff is sticky. I've already applied my foundation and I'm just gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Light. I'm just gonna go right over the glitter because, just because. This is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I like to use this because it fits perfectly under the eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Right after I do my concealer, you wanna make sure to set it right away because like I said, creasing is not cute. And I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder with my e.l.f. blush brush. I am gonna go ahead and use my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC43. It's pretty dark. 
And I'm using my favorite contour brush at the moment, which is the MAC 168. And I'm gonna swirl it around in there. And this is a powder foundation, so it gives you that extra coverage. And it's also going to warm up my skin because it is a little bit darker. But it's like subtle, so I like it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go even further with that bronzy look and use my Too Faced Chocolate um, Bronzer, and this is in the shade Dark Chocolate Soleil. If you guys are looking for an affordable bronzer, blush, and highlighter, I'm telling you guys, this is so nice. It's a Sunlight Bron, wait, what is it? Sunlight Trio from City Color, and I just apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. Look at that highlight. I mean, yeah, that's a good highlight. Pop it on the Cupid's bow. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some blush and this is one of my favorites lately because I love the orangey tones and it kind of goes with the orange tones in my eyes. This is by Hot Makeup and it's in the shade Treasure. It looks like this. I'm just kind of pop that on. I'm gonna finish the lower lash line of the eyes. I'm using the Milani Brown Pencil again and I'm gonna line the waterline with this and the lash line a little bit. Oops. And then after I apply it, I'm gonna blend it out with a pencil brush. I'm also gonna apply more of that Galapagos eyeshadow on the lower lash line. just to kind of set the liner so it doesn't smudge. All right, I'm just gonna take a little more of that Persia eyeshadow and blend out the brown here. Taking a small angled brush into this flamethrower eyeshadow, I'm gonna pop it just to the center of the lower lash line. Kind of like the highlighted look it gives just in the center of the eye. For an inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use this OCC pigment in the shade Flicker. Okay, lastly for the eyes, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm just gonna apply a little bit because I forgot to put some on before my eyelashes, so I'm just kind of going at the base with this. For the lips on this, you guys probably guessed that I'm gonna go with nude because it's kind of already really like crazy. So I'm gonna use the uh, ColourPop Lip Pencil in the shade Skimpy. Lastly, I'm gonna use the same matching lipstick. This is also by ColourPop in the shade Skimpy. I'm just gonna go back in with the pencil and blend it in because it's a little too nude for me at the moment. All right, and this is the finished makeup look. All right guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would rock this makeup look. And also leave any requests for other videos. And uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's about everything. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. Hello. Oh wait, we don't have any music. This is like a, I just broke up with my man and I'm on the prowl makeup look. I'm really in the mood to hear something super ratchet. It's like so, so sparkly. Girls get book wild night. But I don't want my eyes to look too like fire crotchy. Why are you looking into a cougar? Nah. And then I'm gonna take more, oh my gosh, this, this eyeshadow, this freaking, I don't even know. Okay, I'm being dramatic.